Hey, what is up guys? So I got something really cool to share off. It's the new vanilla support that actually works quite well with all uh, waters, uh, specifically all the waters because of Umi, an old school card, although they did come out with a new card that counts as Umi. But anyways, this is a new vanilla dragon beaver warrior gaga giga go -ga deck and uh, it's pretty interesting i think it's more fun at the end of the day than anything i don't think it's going to be meta but you could definitely see it does bust out this new mythic radiance dragon card that does have a lot of support look at that he almost finished his opponent off 50 life points can the blue eyes player come back psych no because of this other card which is the uh cleansing whirlpool of the mythic radiance dragon but anyways few replays that I want to show off for you guys, thanks to Tsubasa over here for sending in these replays of showing off something that no one's really talking about, but I do want to cover everything on this channel, whether it's going to be meta or just more of a fun deck. Now at the moment, I don't think, again, that this deck is going to be very strong, unless of course they're going to come out with extra cards to support it, but nonetheless, we got Beaver War, we got Gaga Giga Go over here, so it's going to be able to do a decent amount of damage. And then in addition to that, you can banish it, re-equip things to Beaver Warrior, and look, at once again, 50 life points. Okay, normally Beaver Warrior probably wouldn't be the best card, like 7 colored fish or like something else would probably be better, but disrespect, finishing his opponent off there with the Beaver Warrior with a ton of equips out on board. But uh, it's a pretty interesting deck, and I'll give you guys a deck profile and I'll talk a little bit more about it. Uh, but anyways, basically you have this card, Pacifist City of Mythic Radiance, and whenever your opponent does anything, you just get a free token, as long as you don't control token, it's got decent stats on it, it's 2000-2000, and uh, in addition to that, they have a really good card, which is the, uh, is it Clashing? I, I, don't, I don't know if it's Clashing or Cleansing, the, the text too long ever here, but anyways, Whirlpool of the Mythic Radiance Dragon, it's a quick play that lets you just get rid of one card in the field, that's a really, really strong card, granted you have to have normal monsters in the deck, but, uh, Obviously, uh, it's a decent card, uh, even if you're not playing uh, all um, normal monsters in the deck, you can still kind of make use of it, uh, depending on what deck, you're, of course, you're playing. Uh, for the most part, I want to say you got to be playing Vanillas, because that's how it works. Well, let me go ahead and mouse over the card one more time so you guys can read the full effect. But anyways, um, if all monsters you control are normal monsters, minimum one. That's why I said, like, you pretty much need to be playing normal monsters, but you don't have to. Obviously, if you're making, like, a card like Utopia or something... Uh, that can, you know, S39 attack over something and then you game it, doesn't really matter anyways if you only control normal monsters. And also if that card dies, uh, maybe you can special summon a normal monster on your opponent's turn. And then from there, you can go ahead and uh, make use of the card still. But anyways, being able to banish it and then re-equip this card, which is the equip spell. Um, so, you have this one that does piercing and then when the equipped monster inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can special summon a Spiral Mythic Radiance Dragon from your hand, deck, or graveyard. And the card already has 2900 attack, so it's actually pretty decent. And then you also get to change an attack position monster your opponent controls to defense position. So it's, it's pretty simple to understand the basic concepts of it. And I'll go over some of the other cards once we go ahead and jump right into that deck profile for it. But man, who played Monarchs here in 2016 after that ban list? Uh, this guy's crazy over here, Mr. Davidick. You're crazy, man. But uh, nonetheless, uh, Pacifist is a pretty decent card. Um, once you normal or special summon uh, exactly one normal monster, you get to add a Mythic Radiance Dragon card. So I don't know if the whole deck is revolved around uh, Mythic Radiance Dragon. Keep in mind, guys, that we only have a few support cards right now for like the whole vanilla uh, water deck. Is I think what they wanted to make. But anyways, you can see it's pretty decent being able to search out a card. And if you guys didn't know, there's a card called Heat Wave, which is basically like your opponent can't play the next turn. So can only be activated at the start of your main phase one. Neither player can normal or special summon effect monsters until your next draw phase. And 99% of decks, guys, are only playing effect monsters, so therefore they can't throw out anything. If they're playing pendulums, well, they can't throw out anything. And a lot of different decks only play like, you know, the solemn lineup. So uh, if they don't happen to draw, you know, one of those four solemns, you're good to go. And you can obviously see that this deck can OTK quite often. Being able to uh, boost up things, inflict a bunch of damage, summon a spiral mythic, and then also re-equipping to Beaver War, giving him extra attack and making a game over here. So Beaver War clearly is the MVP of the deck. That's disrespectful to throw out the Beaver Warrior like that in a water deck. Getting his beaver wet over here, but uh, nonetheless, let's go ahead and just go over the deck profile really quick. Um, so again, it's like a vanilla uh, basic deck uh, that uh, it, Beaver Warrior doesn't really matter in the deck. Let's be honest here, but it was it was cheeky, so I like that Tsubasa. But nonetheless, we got Go Giga Gaga Gaga Gigo. 
Like that, say that 10 times fast, but uh, nonetheless, they're all vanilla, so we don't have to go over their effects. Uh, but this is the important card in the deck, which is Spiral the Mythic Radiance Dragon. Everything kind of revolves around him, whether it's special summoning him or adding him. Uh, that's basically the card. Next up, we got double copies of Giga. Got Giga Go. Now, you guys might be thinking, why would you want this card you have to tribute for? Well, there's this card called Umi, and it has that effect where you get to reduce the level of all water monsters in both players' hand and on the field by one. All water monsters gain 200 attack and defense. Going back to the uh, Paleozo... They, okay, the Paleozoics, um, these are all actually water as well, so you can completely destroy another person's deck, not knowing that uh, you're going to actually uh, need to uh, use it for that effect, but it can definitely ruin some decks because it changes the levels of things. And that also makes it so you can summon this card without tributing because it reduces uh, the level of all water monsters in both players' hand and on the field. But uh, more than likely, it's just going to mess up your opponent if they happen to play anything like Mermails. Like, they're not going to be running very many, like, rank sixes, if any. Like, I don't think that they're going to have any rank sixes in their extra deck. Uh, so you can completely destroy, again, certain decks uh, by Legendary Ocean. Uh, next up, we have Gaga Gigo, uh, and then uh, we have uh, two copies of Beaver Warrior. I have the gold edition over on my uh, copy of Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, but uh, nonetheless, it's pretty much unnecessary. But if you want to be a beast and run the Beaver Warrior, awesome. Do it, man. No fear. And then we got three copies of Unexpected Die, so if you control no monsters, you can just spell some level one uh, level 4 or lower normal monster from the deck. Now, unfortunately, Umi does not count things from the deck, so you can't really use it for that, but nonetheless, I mean, it's it's an okay card. Um, there's also another card I want... Oh, what is it? It was a card uh, that special... Uh, I think it adds one. Um, someone, someone will mention... I think it only works with pendulums, but... Uh, like, wait, hold on. Can we go to the... Uh, let's go to the... Uh, I believe it's at 1 right now. Can I go to spell? Let me look for this card real quick. Oops. Uh, we want we want that spell. I'm pretty sure it's limited. Um, I'll just type in special. Oh, I'm not sure I go face off. There's an, there's another card. Um, it's it's for normals. I'm sure one of you guys will will mention. It. Maybe it's add it to your hand. I know it's a spell card. We could probably go through it pretty fast. Is it is it not at one? Okay, it might, okay, someone mentioned the card down below. I don't know if it's going to work for this deck because I forgot its full effect, but I know that there is, like, a spell card. It's got, uh, like, a picture of, like, I want to say a shark on it. You guys will probably be like, wow, what an idiot. This guy's Yu-Gi-Oh! channel doesn't remember every single card. Okay, there is a card. Uh, I remember Ignite's were running it. <laughs> Ignite's best deck. Anyways, uh, there is another card I wanted to mention. I don't re remember exactly what its effect was. Someone mentioned in the comment section below. But anyways, Ancient Rules lets you special summon a level 5 or higher normal monster from your hand. So, uh, I'm pretty sure this was probably used in the anime to bring out blue eyes. But, nonetheless, uh, you could go ahead and um, special summon a 29 attacker. Not too bad. And also, you have that ability with the uh, field spell uh, to search for it. The pacifist lets you add the mythic radiance dragon. And then we have two copies of Moray of Greed. Uh, there's very low monster count, it's 10, but you don't exactly want to necessarily draw these. Uh, unless, of course, you have that Ancient Rules. Heatwave, very good card. I think if you want to be more competitive, I think an alternate route would be to play 40 cards, to play cards like Pot of Desires, to try to guarantee you with those consistent hands. Uh, even though Heatwave, you have to activate it during the start of main phase one, it's really important to try to get this card as many times as possible to be able to completely lock your opponent out of Yu-Gi-Oh!ing. So this is a very, very good card. Then we have uh, Hidden Armory, so let's see what add equips uh, from your deck to your hand. Now, it does have a downside. You cannot normal summon or set, so that's, that's a pretty big downside, but you got the unexpected die. Next up, we got two copies of Terraform because the field spells are pretty important. We have two copies of Magical Mallet. I don't really know if this is necessary, but uh, technically, again, Heat Wave is a very important card. Being able to Heat Wave and maybe you don't have the greatest hand, you can go to Magical Mallet afterwards and then try to set it up. I don't know if this is really that necessary, but again, it was more of a fun deck and this is the deck profile that uh, Wish featured off in the replays. But I just feel like Magical Mallet, maybe not the best card. Then we also have Heart of the Underdog. You're not playing that many monsters, so I don't really recommend this card as well, but again, uh, this is at its core the original. Uh, next up we have Moon Mirror Shield. I think this is not that bad of an option, uh, but uh, nonetheless lets you basically attack over anything. Then we have United We Stand. Um, I'm not sure how many monsters you are going to have. Uh, most of the time it's going to be three though at its most because you'll have the token which you guys saw during the replays, and then like one monster, and once the monster kills something you'll get another uh, 
uh, monster, so United We Spend can be at that point 2400. And then we have three copies of a Spiral Clash of the Mythic Radiant Dragon. So it's that one piercing one, and then um, when the equipped monster inflicts battle damage, you can just special summon a Mythic Radiant Dragon. And then also you equip this uh, card to it, then you can change the attack position to defense, and then you can do another piercing. So it's really good for like those OTK combolicious plays. And then we have the other equip, the Spiral Hold of the Mythic Radiant Dragon. Uh, so it gains 500 attack. When the equipped monster destroys an opponent's monster of battle, you just special summon a Spiral Mythic Radiant Dragon from your hand deck or graveyard. And if you do equip it to it, then burn your opponent for 1,000. Uh, you can only use this effect about once per turn. And then we have a Legendary Ocean, which we already went over earlier on, which is, again, the card that can completely wreck certain decks. And then we have uh, two copies of Pacifist, the City of Mythic Radiant, which is the one where uh, if you normal or special summon exactly one normal, you get to add a Mythic Radiance Dragon. And then if your opponent activates a card or effect where you control no tokens, you get to special summon a token with 2,000 uh, at 2,000. And it's also level 8, so I was like, oh, that's not too bad. Maybe you can synchro up with this. Be interesting to see what people try to do with this card, because this is not that bad of a card, just in general, because... Uh, again, if your uh, opponent activates a card or effect while you control no tokens, you just get a, a level 8. I don't know. That's kind of cool. But it does have a huge downside. You cannot normal or special summon effect monsters the turn you activate uh, either of this card effect. So basically, you got to be using it during your opponent's turn. So that's really where uh, it loses a lot of the potential that it would normally have in like a crazy synchro deck. You know, if, if you didn't have that option, I think a lot of people would just screw it, throw it in every deck. You just get a, a free token level 8. You could do a lot of shenanigans with that card. And then we have the uh, Clashing Whirlpool of the Mythic Radiant Dragon. So this is a really good card, uh, being able to activate it from your hand to get rid of anything. It's pretty much like this deck's uh, Ghost Ogre, uh, really good stuff, but uh, you gotta be playing Vanillas for the most part to make use of it. And of course, Skill Drain because you're unaffected by Skill Drain. <laughs> pretty good stuff, but Tsubasa, thanks for sending this in, really interesting stuff, I like seeing more unique stuff, stuff that doesn't really get covered too often, so uh, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the Vanilla Dragon Gaga Gigo Beaver Warrior deck, but thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the vid, make sure you guys get like button, a titty slap, I am signing out.